The easiest and hardest thing in life is to be yourself. This is some ancient wisdom text and uh, I think it's very accurate because it's so easy to be yourself if you're in the right circumstances and if you're confident with who you are and if you actually know who you are. But it's also really difficult to be your authentic self when there is some external triggers or there are insecurities that makes you act in a certain way or a belief system that you think that you need to be something else that you actually need to be. And I read a quote yesterday. I've been diving deep into this gene key concept and the founder, his name is Richard or something. And he said that life doesn't demand as much from you as you demand from yourself. And, and I think this is like, this is the core of most suffering and most insecurities and most problems in life. And it all has to do with unlearning. I'm, I'm starting to really go big on this idea of unlearning. Because what does life require to exist? It requires water, food, sleep. These fundamental things. And most people in the world, especially if you're watching this video, you have such a high living standard already that you probably never run out of water. Like, do you even know what it feels like to be really thirsty? And do you know what it feels like to be really hungry? Like, you can fast and you can know what hunger feels like, but you don't actually know what it feels like to be like, wow, I don't actually know where I'm going to get my next food. Because like, you can get food even just by begging. There's so much of it. And like air, that's, that's a really fundamental thing. And if you've ever gone diving or surfing or some, if just like going underwater, you realize pretty quickly that if you don't go get air, oxygen, then you're kind of screwed. So once we have the fundamentals and, and if we can agree on that, most people have these fundamentals, then everything else is extra. But we have been programmed as a society and uh, as a world that we should always strive for more. That there's always more that we need to go after. But even in all the ancient wisdoms and, and all the great people who have lived and legends who have contemplated and thought a lot about this, they all agree that happiness and contentment fulfillment isn't really found on the outside. It's always an internal job. And still, most of the world live in this illusion of, of running towards something that they think will fulfill them. And I'm totally, I'm totally guilty of that. It's like this has been the biggest problem for me because for so many years I've been like yeah yeah but I need this next thing and I need that that one thing I need more money or I need more happiness or I need whatever it is you need something before you can allow yourself to be fulfilled 
And we all have different things that we need. We need. What if we don't need them? And another great idea that I got from this Gene Key guy was that are you actually chasing the right dream? Why are you chasing the dream you are chasing at the moment? And I think this is another like really big thing because a lot of us, including me, thought that this dream of success and money and uh, like big houses or whatever, that that's gonna be the thing that's really gonna make a difference and it's gonna be like everything is just gonna be like wow wonderful like like in heaven but from the wiser people that have already attained those they all say that it's it's not that i, I believe it's a, a part of the the whole thing because you you can be grateful for what you have and and i don't say that it's wrong to chase success or money or whatever i think it's like if there is a possibility an opportunity to do that why not but to externalize your own purpose your value and and your self-worth to be dependent on something external I think that's the biggest trap and this is what I see I, I feel and I predict the world to be going more in an unlearning future like the the, the next phase that I believe in is that we're gonna start to realize that, oh shit, like more isn't better. Better is better. More isn't better. Better quality. Like, if you want something really badly, you don't need 10 of them. You don't need 10 cars. You, you can have one car if the sole purpose is to get from one place to another. If the sole purpose is just to, to feel the adrenaline rush and feel good. Okay, but that's gonna be another thing that you're chasing all the time. And I, I know, like extreme sports, like snowboarding, skateboarding, surfing. It's actually about chasing a feeling, a, 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 like adrenaline and, and this danger. And, and you kind of get this feeling of living on the edge and, and there's nothing wrong with that and I think that that is one part of life that we can really enjoy and, and it's it makes you feel good but to fill your whole life with that only that it's actually running away from something because once you start to realize that you can find the fulfillment and the peace just by being and then when you want to do something you feel the urge you have excitement you're like actually this is something that i really want to do and this is when life starts to change because you realize that you don't have to do all these things that you thought that you have to do and a lot of us have probably entangled us in, in different like some people own houses and they have different kinds of, of responsibilities that they have to take care of but if you've got yourself into that you can like unget yourself out of that I don't know if that's a word but you know what I mean so you can there's always a process of kind of reversing things and that's up to you that's that's up to all of us and and to truly know what we want to be and I think like this gene keys is a really powerful tool that you can go and, and look up because 
it's based on astrology and it's based on this ancient Chinese I Ching concept and uh, it's also combining human design and it's based on your birthday and, and you can get this kind of a chart that it's not supposed to tell you what to do it's supposed to illuminate what you already know and uh, depending on where you are on your internal journey you will see that a lot of the things are s things that you already prefer things that you like things that you already struggle with so you can go genekeys.com you can get a free profile and I, I, that's that's really really interesting also human design i think that's another thing you should look into because you start to understand how you're built and i think it's so amazing that there are people out there who study these things and build these systems so other people can understand themselves better it's not about anything else it's about understanding yourself better and once you start testing out this if it works for you great if it don't work for you you find something else and that's what all these tools are for and i like the guy who who came up with this gene key theory and, and concept and system he says straightly that it's supposed to be a tool and and if you get interested in it you kind of go as as deep as you want in it and then probably at some point it's like the job is done and you you kind of you realize the the information and then you can move on and and then there might be some next thing but knowing yourself accepting yourself trusting yourself believing yourself and loving yourself if if we can get a little bit more of this in the world for everyone i truly believe the world will change really really massively so my mission at the moment is helping people unlearn things and start to reconnect more with the internal that's what i do that's what i've been working on this self-improvement thing and and because i'm this extreme sports type of guy i always want to go as deep as possible and uh, that's when you end up in uh, human design and gene keys and astrology and, and numerology and all these things and I want to share this I want to be an example of how we can live we don't have to work eight hours a day we don't have to do anything if we don't want we have to find a way to survive yes but when you start trusting the universe and when you start trusting that the things that are meant for you they will appear at the right time because if you even try to do nothing for a week you get bored you get like you get all kinds of ideas that you want to do and and that's the whole point when you kind of step back you rewind you you kind of calm down you remove the stress hormones you stop running you start being in the moment because actually the moment is everything there is this is when you start to wanting to do stuff you don't have to go to work you want to do work and then you will know what type of work you want to do like I don't have to do these videos I want to do these videos and I enjoy doing these videos and if I can help even one person and and this has to do with with the last video I made it, it's about unlearning I had six views in one day but I got one comment that 
like made it all worth it and it, it was such a beautiful comment and beautifully said and I think that's what we need more of we need more people to connect and support each other because I don't need millions of subscribers I don't need a lot of views like if my my video that I shoot one time if it even affects one person then it's enough because I would talk this to one person but now because of this technology and and cameras and YouTube I can share this one discussion and a lot of people can potentially see it and benefit from it I think it's just amazing and this is another thing when you start slowing down I run out of storage again but yeah that's that's all right so when you don't need to do stuff and you want to do stuff that's also when you get out of this survival mode you relax your nervous system your it all comes down and you release stress hormones that's when you kind of recharge and that's when you can start doing because you have energy you want to do it it's like imagine if the world was run by by this concept the people could rest when they need to rest and they would work when they want to work I truly believe this is where we're going because you're depressed or something if you don't want to do stuff but you don't want to do stuff because all the things that you would want to do are not available or you think that they are not available or that they don't give you stuff and we can go into like this food poisoning and, and bad water, no exercise, everything that can make up depression in, in my opinion, but that's a, a topic for another video. But if you can just take a few moments and really think about, okay, is this the right dream I'm going after? And is, is it really gonna matter in five years or 10 years? in your lifetime and do you really have to run that much do you do you really have to do all that and and what if you cut everything in half what if you just take more time off because especially if you're building a business the point of building that business is to get more freedom but then a lot of people get in this trap of no but I need to make more Oh, if I do even more I get even more and then you waste your thing that you actually started you started because you wanted more freedom but then you get hooked if in this doing and then you kind of mess it all up and and that's why i'm here i want to wake up people to be like it's the best thing is not to run the best thing is that you can have relationships you can enjoy life you can do things from excitement inspired and just j joy this is this is the new world we're heading in and thanks to all the automations and technology and, and thanks to people in the past who have worked so hard so that we can enter into this new age of being more and loving more it's it's about opening your heart to yourself because then you can start loving everything else and be fine with the moment that's amazing my name is Mitz I don't know if you've seen this channel before please subscribe if you like to slow down more relax and get inspired by living a more slow life and slow doesn't mean that you can't do cool stuff I'm, up, I'm about to go surf as soon as possible and uh, yeah like this video if you liked it comment what you think if you want to have a discussion you can contact me on other platforms send a dm okay peace out see you in a future video